back with more, are we? Now then, hello everyone, this is Haruka, and welcome back to Mad Father. Last we played, we figured out our father has gone down deeper into his underground maze. Now let's see what goes on from there. Very well, we're in a cafeteria of sorts. And who might you be, you little scamp? Well, that was a rather unflattering noise, my goodness! So hungry. Very well, let's find you some food, shall we? Oh, Dio is still full of knives. How unfortunate. Oh, and last time we saw you, we were struck down by someone who has committed adultery! Now that that joke is out of the way, let's find this little scramp some food. Ah, sausage. That might help. There we are. Now put the sausage on a plate, Aya, dearie. Pardon? I saw you! We, we have some meat right here for you. Um, would this be okay? It's raw. Oh, well that makes sense. I don't want raw sausage. So we have to make it unraw. And to quote a certain internet chef, the meat is fucking raw! Now then. I believe we can... Cook the sausage. <laughs> Cooking with Haruka. Let's go. Finish sauteing sausage. There we are. Now to carry the meat back to the boy. Hello? Ah. Uh. Smells like just this, just like that sausage I like. Now eat your scran, it's good for you. Hmm, so good. Tastes a lot like mom's. Well, not quite to mom's standards. Excuse you! You're lucky I fed you at all! Ungrateful little bastard! But it was pretty tasty. I had had a bite to eat since I was locked up here. I was starving. Maria always brought food down to the basement. Didn't you have that? Everyone else was getting food, but not me. I was always unwanted. No use and just pissed people off, so I was abandoned. Have this. A napkin. Well, I appreciate the sentiment, but... You know, as thanks for giving me good food. Um, well, um... Thanks, I guess. Yeah. And then he just fades away into the ether. Thank you for the achievement game. Oh. That flame went out as soon as he vanished. Very well. Thank you, Mr. Birdie. Now we proceed onward. It's rather dark in here now, and I don't like it. What could this be? It won't open. Very well, then. I guess it's useless. Oh no! 
No. Open, open. Come on now, open. That was that same ghost that, that choked us in the last episode. I will have none of that, thank you. Oh, ogre again. This passage was a little cluttered, so I cleaned it up a bit. Ho ho ho. Speak of the devil, it's me again. Do you have anything else to, of value to say? Did you solve the puzzle up ahead? No, I didn't. Very well. Solve the gimmick room. Wait a moment. I believe we're supposed to make these two rooms mirror each other. Alright, Haruka, use your brain. Hmm. A doll dressed like a priest. A suit of armor. Alright, Haruka, use your brain. How is this supposed to go? I'll take that spear from you. Put it on this fellow. Everything is mostly correct, except that we need... Wait a moment. I think I know what we have to do. Oh. Well, never mind then. Vroom! Vroom, damn you! I thought we could vroom! But apparently that's not possible. These rooms almost match. And I do mean almost. An empty vase. Oh, wait a minute. Um, pardon me, miss, but we just need to borrow something for a moment. Thank you. Now we can go back and do this. Good. But now what do we do? A vase packed with flowers. So what are we meant to do about those flowers, then? Ogre, do you have any flowers on you? You don't. Well, sod off, then. You're useless. Flowers. Flowers. Where would one find flowers? Mr. Birdie? No. Where do where does one find flowers? Oh, excuse me, Dio. Hmm. The door is firmly shut. Ah, we can't go back. Very well then. Now think, Haruka, think. Where would one find flowers? Flowers in a haunted mansion. These rooms are almost matched. But the only thing I'm missing are the flowers. Hmm. Hold on a moment. There's a crack in one of these pillars, too. There we are. Can I take these? There we are! Then how come I couldn't do that before? Hmm. There we are. No, 
let's see if we can do this. Something else is missing. What else could be missing? Is it the priest? No, it's not the priest. Then what is it? Oh, it's the knight. There we are. Perfect. Now then. Wait a moment. I saw you stand up for a moment there. You can't fool me. Solve the gimmick room two. All right, Mr. Birdie, help me out here. Thank you. Now then, what could this be? A room of memoirs. Wait, I remember this from the original game. All right, Haruka, use your brain. Actuary Exith. I was born. I slept cuddling up against my mother. Very well, then. Just put you in there. Wonderful. Actuary Exith. I killed an animal for fun. Then I got addicted. There's always dead cats and birds in my room. Mother gets mad when she finds them. Whenever Mother is out, I hide the corpses in the dresser. Well, not only do you commit adultery, but you're an animal killer as well. Better hope I don't find you, dearie. Otherwise, you'll have a conversation with my coat bot. A dead cat. And we have to carry it. Goodness me. Now close the dresser. You can close the dresser now. Oh, wait. Whenever Mother is out, I got you. Hide it in here. And we just push Mother out of the way. Away with you, Mother! Now we can progress forward. Actuary Exith. Mother found out I was killing animals. Mother scolded me. Shut up. I silenced Mother with a knife. Mother fell over, all red. It didn't suit such a pretty face. So I wiped Mother's face. Her dead face was very pretty. How can a psychopath like this function in normal society? I don't understand. Ah, yes, the napkin we found earlier. The napkin we found earlier, dear. There we are. A doll wearing strange clothes. Well, we've wiped Mother's face. Now what? A knife. And we can pick it up for some reason. Can we use it on you? Not in the way I intended, but very well. Now then. Actuary Exith. I'd killed Mother. I got scared and ran away. Far, far away. Over the ocean. I wanted to forget everything, but I couldn't forget Mother's pretty dead face. I killed another. I eventually got addicted to seeing people's dead faces. My? That's a rather unsettling addiction. The boy wields a pickaxe, looking down at a girl. So are we meant to... Apparently we are, then. 
was rather graphic, even for this game. And the door opens. Thank you, Mr. Birdie. What? Ah, it's that body we decapitated earlier. And Aya just leaps over it like nothing happened. I guess sociopathy runs in the family. Now then. What? Kill me. Why do you want us to kill you? Oh dear. Well, hello there. It hurts. So kill me. No. Kill me. Just... Huh? Ah! Goodness! Even in this game, I can't help but get jump scared. Good on you for defending yourself, dearie, but goodness! Finally, rest. Who even was that? No comment on that, Aya. I guess sociopathy really does run in the family. Goodness. Collapse? I can't move my legs anymore. I have to say father. Father. And then we died. How unfortunate. At your limit, are you? Perhaps you should rest a bit. Thank you, ogre? Hmm. Not sure I trust him quite yet. At least he's not committing adultery! Come here, Aya. Mom, you're warm. Close your eyes, Aya. May you be smiled upon. Mom, what was that? A good luck charm. A what charm? I charmed you, so you'll always, always be happy from now on. Wow. I love you, Mom. Huh. If only I had a relationship like that with my own mother. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best. Mom, you smell nice. It's the perfume Mom always wears. And then we awaken. Oh, you look rather disheveled. I can smell Mom's scent. Why do you smell like Mom? Who could say? That's Mom's perfume! No way! When did you... Give it back! That's my keepsake of Mom! And then she just ran off. Very well, then. I think we should find Mr. Birdie and end this episode. We've already done enough. If I can find Mr. Birdie... Mr. Birdie! Pretty sure he's back here somewhere, right? Thank you for that. Now then. There you are, Mr. Birdie. Now then. I believe that's where we can end things for now. So... If you lovely folks enjoyed this episode of Mad Father, please do leave a like and a comment to let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, my lovely subjects. <laughs>